Llama 3.2 Vision is an open multimodal large language model by Meta and it's finally available on a Llama. It's available in 90 billion or 11 billion parameter sizes. Now I'm working on a Mac M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So the 90 billion model is not really gonna work for me. So I'm gonna go with the 11 billion one. In this video, we're gonna find out how well does it work? Does it answer follow-up questions well? Can you get it to compare images and how fast is it? I'm gonna be giving it tasks that I'd usually do with ChatGPT or Claude, which isn't really fair given the relative sizes of the models, but let's see how it does. Now, we're gonna have a look at my Alama version and you can see I'm on 0.4.1. Now you need to be on 0.4.0 or higher in order for this to work. So make sure you update if you're on an earlier version. And then we're gonna run Alama serve to start the Alama server. This might be running in the background if you're working on a Mac, in which case skip this step. We're then gonna pull down the Llama 3.2 hyphen vision model. Now this defaults to the 11 billion version. If you want the 90 billion version, you'll have to go and work out what the tag is for that. And then we're gonna just run a simple query, just saying hello, so that it loads into memory. Now, if you wanna check which models are in memory, you can do Alarm at PS, and you can see we've got the vision model in memory. If you look under the size column, you can see it's 12 gigabytes of RAM that it's taking up. Right, let's now launch it again, and we'll put it in verbose mode so we can see the stats afterwards. And we're gonna ask it to look at this image here. This is some code on an image that I created with Carbon. Now you can see it's a SQL query from DuckDB. And we're gonna ask it, can you extract only the code from this image and give it to me as a markdown code block? I'm gonna start a timer in the corner so we can see how long it takes. And we'll sort of speed things up a bit. And you can see it takes just over 30 seconds. And in fact, if you look at prompt eval duration, you can see that's how the time that it takes until you get your first token back. So it's 32.8 seconds. And then you can see it took 34 seconds in total. But the output is good. It's got it pretty much spot on. We can then ask it what the code does. And this time you get an immediate response. And I think it's done a pretty good job of explaining how this query works. Let's try something else. So I often ask ChatGPT to critique my YouTube thumbnail. So I'm gonna ask it to do the one from the last video. So we'll say, hey, critique this YouTube thumbnail, give it the image. Again, it's gonna take a little while until we get the response, but then it gives us uh, a bunch of advice about how we might change it. I'm not sure I entirely agree uh, with the suggestions it's come up with here. A cool thing is though, that we can ask it what it thinks the video is about. And in here, it does a pretty good job, I'd say. Like it, it perfectly works out what this video is about. Now I sometimes get ChatGPT to convert notes from my notepad if I wanna have them on my computer. So let's see how Llama 3.2 Vision gets on. So I'm gonna ask it, can you extract the handwriting please of this image where I've written something on a piece of paper? And you can see it initially says, I can't extract handwriting from an image, but I can help you with other tasks. Would you like me to transcribe the text in the image instead? Which I mean, that sounds like the same thing to me, but sure, can you do that? And this time it says the handwritten text reads and then it gets it absolutely spot on. Now, something that people have asked in other videos that I've done about vision models is, can it compare images against each other? So let's see how Llama 3.2 vision gets on. So we're gonna say, can you compare these images of Ronaldo and Messi to famous football or soccer players? And it actually just crashes out of Llama and says vision model only supports a single image per message. Okay, so that doesn't work, but I thought maybe what I can do is I'll upload the first image of Ronaldo, ask it about that, and then once it tells me about Ronaldo, then I'll ask it to compare it to Messi. So I said, start, okay, let's start with Ronaldo. And it just refuses to tell me who it is. So I try another way, caption, it still refuses. Okay, who do you think it is? Still refuses. And I couldn't come up with a prompt that would get it to tell me who this is, which is really weird because other times that I've tried it, it has worked. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. But if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But apart from this weirdness with the pictures, this is the best open vision model that I've played with so far. If you're interested in learning about others, check out this playlist next.